So why is the culture? Mm. Good question. So back around 2000, maybe a little bit earlier, um, I got my first broadband and uh, I was using an early, well, Winamp, which had online, this is before YouTube was really, a th really blowing up. So I had uh, Winamp and there were some online internet thingies and there wasn't much browsable video content at the time that was longer than about five minutes. And yeah, so I found SKTFM and subsequently, shortly after that, I found Patrolling, produced by Rant. So Sean Kennedy and Sumerian and a whole bunch of other part-timers um, with Sean Kennedy and Sumerian doing the bulk of the work, you know, just introduced me to a, a few concepts that really spoke to me. And I passed this on to my friend, um, it goes by Rembimon. And uh, we thought, well, this isn't coming out nearly often enough. So uh, one of the things about Rant was, don't hate the media, become the media. So we set about producing, albeit a very poor quality thing, to start with, uh, Rangers Radio. Because we didn't have any video capability. So we started doing that stuff and started sending messages on to that. And Rangers Radio got accepted by the Rant community. And, uh, yeah, so we were kind of like a UK version of Rant for a little bit, in, in our own modest way, with full-time jobs and not a great deal of tech. And slowly the tech improved and Rangers got relatively popular and went on for a bunch of years. And then, more recently, a few years ago, I decided to do Urban Agogi, which was named after the... Uh, Spartan Training Academy. So I did that, got a lot fitter, saw some results, got into distilling self-help and stuff like that. And yeah, it's, it's, but all three of those things were about giving, you know, people an edge, you know, just like, like slightly more capability and understanding while still enjoying the bits that were very much like rant. Because when you've only got two people producing the media you like most in the world, that's just, it does just cannot create enough media. If there was something in mainstream media that was anything like it, I'd watch that, but there isn't. Because the message of mainstream media is not, you know, here is how your life could be better or how you could be more competent. It's more about keeping your bum in a seat and watching advertising. So yeah, so this is like kind of like an anti-advertising thing. I mean, I wouldn't be adverse to some things being advertised or notified, but the problem with advertising is it attaches an emotional response to an object. It's a bad idea. And it's only been around for about 100 years, but you can see what sort of damage it's done. So it's not about how useful or good the product is, it's how it makes you feel when you buy it at that point. And it's basically used, as, used to separate us from the only thing, apart from our labor, that a capitalist system wants from us. It wants the money that it is grudgingly given to us for our labor and our time you know, a third of your life. And it wants to take that and uh, get its money back off us somehow. And I see it all the time, you know. How many, how many times do you see someone buying the product that they work near or produce back, you know? It boggles my mind. It's like you give us the bare minimum and then uh, you want us to pay that money back, you know, like sort of like staff discounts are some of the most evil things in the universe. They're like, uh, to my mind anyway, I know people are gonna disagree, but like collecting things that don't do anything 
a collection of a thing that does the same thing or does the same amount of nothing. Different than, say, tools or equipment for making other stuff, toys for creativity, I'm all for those. But once you've got one tool that does the job perfectly well, you don't really usually need another tool, unless you're buying one because you think, oh, this is a bit losable or this is a bit breakable, I'll get a couple more just in case so I'm not deprived of that ability to make stuff. So yeah, there's some really, really pointless things out there for sale. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of it myself. I still smoke. So that's not only set pay, buying something that does nothing for me, but it's also actively trying to kill me. So yeah, so we're none of us immune. But I think what I want for the idea of the culture is to find all those things that are useful and all those ideas that do work and bring them to you in a format that's easy to watch so yeah so in the way that uh, patrolling did its own modest reviews of things and said this is a good thing we should get this because it's actually functional and useful and uh, yeah and uh, some philosophy and basically carry on that tradition of patrolling and SKTFM and the whole rant, the ideas of rant. Because, like I say, I'm a huge fan. So, yes. So that's, that's why is the culture. So I'll be trying to bring together, like, a, at least a magazine programme. We've got, you can't say that on radio, which has been running and doing things basically forever um, since the days of rant I think um, so that's going to be the radio show if we bring it if you want anything more in the podcast format we're also trying to keep links going to a Vagdu's Podbean uh, podcast but if there's anything else you know that's what the discord's for what do you want what needs to be made we have I have the studio now which is 99% sorted um, and really has not taught me to be less of a hoarder of uh, useful bits of technology as I keep finding out when I think oh god I need a thing and then a, a solution presents itself from the junk box so uh, I'll be doing a breakdown of the studio naturally um, we've also got a twitch channel and I'm streaming on that occasionally so there'll be a link to the twitch channel if you could follow it that would be handy as if as would a subscription like subscribe and go for notifications and like all that shit on basically everything we do because that pushes the algorithm which tells the heartless soulless computer to show it to more people and eventually that sort of thing generates cash i mean it would be great if we can get the internet to buy us an island or a farm or several farms. So, yeah. The time may come when there's, you know, enough interest and enough people that we can just go, right, everybody throw a fiver in the pot and we'll see if how we look at the world works. So, yeah, if you think human beings shouldn't have to work as hard and shouldn't be at, at odds with each other and shouldn't have to pay through the nose for the things that they need, you know, then let's see what we can do. I mean, this is hopefully going to be entertaining, but it does have an end goal of some of us at least being able to bugger off and do something a bit more creative with our lives. So yeah, give it some thought. So that's why the culture exists. The reason it's on a different channel is to differentiate it and basically start off with a clean page. Now I kind of know what I want to do. That's not to say that those ideas won't change over time. It's just right now, a new start is probably good. So this, if you're looking at it on the Rangers channel, or you're looking at it on Urban Agoge, this is the last video um, that's gonna go out on those channels. If you wanna continue watching and see what we get up to as a collective community, then you know the, the way that you're gonna get notified and the way you're gonna find that is on the culture YouTube channel. 
and in the culture discord and twitch and if you think there's needs to be something else i guess if you want to email me there is a an email address theculture at mail.com you can send your ideas to but yeah so i'll be producing a bunch of short videos um every every week hopefully when my time off comes up and uh what I'll be doing is um, putting together a series of short videos and then at the end of the week after a few of the videos have gone out maybe two or three that will go with a bit of a philosophy ramble and all be combined together into an omnibus edition to go out at the end of the week so you can because shorter videos shorter reviews of things shorter tech stuff shorter survival stuff generates so many more views than a long rambling magazine program so i'll be editing it all together at the end um, so the people that want to just watch the one video can do it but the shorter videos the more specific videos that will make up that longer video will all be separated out because they become that much more searchable and stupidly popular like my average video view on generalized videos is about 30 at the moment I want that obviously that needs to be more and my average review for a review of something or a how-to is like 1500 so 20 views or 1500 views I mean I've got to do my bit to push the algorithm as well so yeah so that's why is the culture and where we're going to go from here <coughs> so yeah so i thought i'd get out some of it's going to be out some of it's going to be in the studio because i've got a studio now and uh yeah let's make that happen so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this uh why is the culture and i hope you're enjoying the style and I hope if you have enjoyed it and you're watching it on um, Rangers or Urban Agogi, then uh, you'll come over and subscribe to the culture because that's where all the interesting little reviews and things are going to be. So, yeah, I think that's uh, enough of me blaring on now. So thanks for watching and do take care. We'll see you. Come and, come and join the culture. It'll be fun. We'll make the internet buy some nice things. Do you take care?